We're not saved by what we do, but by what God has done, completely and wholly and fully by what God has done. And we do not contribute to salvation at all. How could that be? The answer is when Jesus Christ came, he came to live the life we should have lived and die the death we should die. He lived the life, a perfect life, the only human being who ever lived a perfect life, and therefore earned God's blessing. But then at the end of his life, he went to the cross and took the curse that we deserve. He earned the blessing of a fully obedient human being, but then he took the curse and punishment of imperfect, disobedient human beings, which means that when you become a Christian, when you put your faith in Him, all of your sins and what you deserve fall on Him, but then all of His blessing, what He deserves, comes to you. And God treats you as if you've done everything that Jesus Christ has done. That's radical. Now, because we have this complete salvation, complete gift, all accomplished by Him, we contribute nothing to it, and now we have received this. There's a freedom. First of all, we're free from any sense of condemnation. Romans 8, verse 1. Now there is no more condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Do not fear ever coming into condemnation from God. And now we're also free not just from condemnation, but from, you might say, compulsion. That is, we now want to obey God. We want to please Him. We no longer are obeying the law of God out of a sense of just a sense of duty or a sense of being forced or compelled. Instead, we want to please the one who did this for us. We want to resemble the one who did this for us.